Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a Test It Tuesday on the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. So if you want to see how this works, then just keep watching. So I have a sample size of the Optical Illusion because I didn't want to buy the full size if I didn't like it. So I did buy this at Ulta for $15. And it retails, if you want a full size, for $34. So the travel size is 0.5 fluid ounces, and the full size is... I believe the full size is one size, or one fluid ounce. I can't really find it on here, but I would assume. So this is the Complexion Primer. It's a smoothing, it's hip, la 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 la. Rose hip and argan oil pore perfecting. Instantly blur flaws and smooth out your skin with the Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. This primer reduces fine lines and makes pores seem to vanish for a gorgeous porcelain-like texture. Makeup not only goes on better, but also lasts longer. It is velvety soft lightweight primer that has a slight pink tint to illuminate the skin, but dries down to translucent matte finish. Alright, I guess we just Go ahead and use it. Alright. Ooh, it is definitely pink. Whoa. It's pretty thick, too. Come on. Don't tell me this is an optical illusion and there's none in here. What the fuck? Okay, so already I can see a blurring effect, but I can definitely see a pink tint to it. So hopefully that doesn't throw, show through with my foundation. It does say that it has a soft pink tint to illuminate the skin, but then it says it dries down to translucent matte finish. So I'm going to let it dry down a little bit and see if the pink tint goes away. So I've only waited maybe two minutes, but so far I can see it has kind of dim down on the pink tint. I'm not a very patient person, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish my makeup off camera, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now that my makeup is on, I I don't see much of a difference. Um, I can see it's kind of blurred, but not as intense as I had assumed it would be. So, the last primer I tested was the Maybelline one that also is supposed to blur and have redness control. In all honesty, I feel like the blurring effect is the same. So it's not like, oh my gosh, I'm porcelain, like it says you're supposed to be. But, I don't know, it's still pretty good. Uh, I will check in at the end of the day to see how the longevity is on this, and yeah, see you. Hey guys, so uh, sorry I couldn't finish the end of this video. I was at my aunt's and then it just got late and then it was too dark to film with my iPhone. So I'm doing it now, next day. I know I look crazy, but um, the product itself, I thought it was decent. It worked like about any other primer I have that does this effect. So I didn't necessarily think there's anything special about it. Um, one thing that did make me mad is I couldn't get anything out. Which, what? Look, now it wants to come out. Oh, you bastard. I couldn't get anything out, and so I decided to take it off. And most products I know that are like this have a tube at the end in order to pick up what's in here. So it doesn't have that. I tried looking in here to see if I can find one and there isn't one. So I'm going to take this back to Ulta and see if I can get another one that has that because I literally can't get anything out. So overall, I think it is a decent primer. Um, I feel like there's stuff at the drugstore that does pretty much the same concept of this. But I do think it's a really good primer and if you want to reach out and get something that's a little bit more expensive and on the higher end, this is a good primer. Just personally, I feel like there's other primers that I currently use from the drugstore that do pretty much the same kind of concept as this, so I'd rather get those. My background is different. I know it's only a day difference of when I was filming this, but I did switch up my background and this is going to be the new one. So that's all I have for this video, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.